A lot of misinformation has been going around about Halo and 343 hit up Twitter to crush all bad information. Ranks are resetting, we have a new promotion coming in, and we hit the top of Reddit. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With the recent leak of the two Season 3 maps we covered on the channel yesterday, guys, if you missed it out, check out that video right there. Alan Wilson, who is a former 343 developer, goes into more details about these maps, and they sound kind of interesting. He says that these maps aren't actually forge maps, but in a way they're kind of blockouts that are meant to be like modular kits that people can put into different situations. So essentially it was like a way to have like the map in a certain layout, but then you can quickly change the aesthetic of the map because it's a modular kit, which sounds like a really interesting idea to do level design when it comes to adding more content into the game. You know, a lot of times that we see players that want more styles of the maps or maybe just like a night version of the map or something Something like that well then you use modular kits would allow probably a little bit easier additions to that kind of stuff but it seems like it might not exactly be the case tyler answered who's also a former 343 developer at the multiplayer side of things who was mentioned in alan's comments specifically he replied though in twitter saying i didn't make either of these maps i think he confused cataract with catalyst also i ditched the modular kit set by then because it was boring and very limited now i did look up alan wilson on linkedin to see what he did for the team and he was a former campaign level designer so i could imagine him maybe mixing up some details when it comes to the multiplayer stuff Side of things but these maps of solitude and cataract were also part of this huge leak that we covered previously on the channel as well so these maps could still make it into season three content because they look rather polished and finished and ready to go but likely we would have to wait until october about the month before for the release of season three to actually get some concrete information about what's actually going to be part of season three and for a friendly reminder of you guys we have ranks being reset as well as team doubles coming in on august 23rd that is this upcoming tuesday it looks like there'll be about a three hour period of maintenance from 10 a.m to 1 p.m pacific standard time they do mention a social team doubles playlist will become available at 10 a.m pacific standard time other matchmaking players will remain online during this period but when this downtime ends ranks CSR will reset both ranked arena and team doubles playlists will be available or you can just subscribe to the channel because I'll definitely let you guys know when that update does go live fellow content creator in front of the show here mint blitz caused up a little bit of a stir with his recent video talking about him revealing this hidden system the big takeaway from the video was him saying that the game forces you to have a 50 50 win ratio Community manager Unishek replied on Twitter and basically kind of clarified a few things saying the game does not force you to have a 50-50 win rate. It's just a byproduct of their matchmaking system. So let me kind of clarify what he's talking about here. So basically what they stated in the previous blog update where it kind of provided some details saying that they try to put players in these 50% win ratio games, but then the game doesn't force you to have a 50% win ratio, if that makes sense. Essentially what I'm saying is like the game doesn't punish you for winning like if you go on like a five game win streak the game doesn't then put you in like a chance game where you have an 80% chance of losing you still get put into a game where you have a 50% chance of winning but if you just keep on winning the game doesn't force you to have a 50% win ratio you still get thrown into 50% matches but the game doesn't have like this overarching thing that makes you have a 50% win ratio so that's kind of a bit of a clarification detail right there which I think is very important to take note of I think the bigger issue with the whole thing is that social matchmaking just feels so competitive I don't think the games need to be this difficult all the time I feel like when I'm playing Halo Infinite, it's like I'm well, I might as well just play ranked because I'm still getting like the 50% win ratio, super competitive games, and can social slayer with weaker settings, or I can go play ranked with more balanced settings and get the same experience. I'd like to see the skill-based match we can have a wider parameters so then this game so just feel a bit more casual rather than having to be super hot competitive all the time. Bisu Talks here found a way to make the bananas from Mario Kart an actual thing where it's a power-up he was able to pick up then he's able to drop it and once you drive over it it makes your truck spin around. I mean like that's freaking awesome. I'm so excited for when Forge finally hits for us, guys. When it does release, I'll definitely make some videos and some content, kind of explain some bits. I have some videos planned out as well for more newcomers like myself, kind of or returning fans like myself to the Forge side of things. I'm definitely excited about this. We have a new Halo promotion as well with trolleys right here, like we had previously before the launch. This is going to be launching on September 1st, it looks like, and end on March 31st of 2023 right here. 
basically gives you a chance to win some free gaming goodie stuff, which the stuff does look pretty awesome, not gonna lie. But it looks like we also have some free in-game content with the purchase as well. Now we don't have any visual confirmation of what those in-game purchases are. Oftentimes these were tied to different like weapon camos and things like that within the game. So I expect to see a similar kind of setup with this as well. Once we kind of know what the trolley in-game content promotional stuff is you know i'll share with you guys here on the channel because we definitely need some more codings while we're on the topic of codings guys we have a new xbox game pass coding has just come for the commando rifle which is excellent to see because the commando needs some love here man that just does not have enough codings for it It has like three codings unless you've paid a ton of money for it this is free with all xbox ultimate game pass users here so make sure your accounts are linked together since i am an xbox ultimate game pass user guys i basically what i do to get these i open up my xbox app on pc i click on perks and then i just claim the item pretty straightforward i already claimed it but it basically then will take you to the 343's website you make sure your accounts are linked you hit okay and then boom you have it in game and we made it to the top of reddit the other day guys with this tweet right here i posted up on the other day talking about like what would be the two hail games you would pick as the best hail games but they have to be at least five years apart Stirred up a good bio conversation. I actually thought some really great answers from my tweet was actually pretty cool right here. It was a really bit of fun way to kind of interact with the community. Well, someone else thought it was a really cool thing to share as well. So someone took the image I posted on Twitter and then put it up on Reddit and they got over 6,000 upvotes on their post right here with a ton of comments, over 2,000 comments on it and like a lot of cool interactions and stuff like that. It was really cool to read a lot of the stuff that was tied to this. Obviously though, I didn't get sourced with it, sadly, but it was just cool to see I made a little bit of noise where I was able to, you know, be on top of Reddit for a day. It was kind of cool. If you want to know more about the leaked maps that we talked about yesterday are coming for Season 3, the modular for non-forge maps, if that's what they are, I don't really know. We need more details about them. Video's right here if you guys want to check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And catch you on the next one. Peace out.